Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful floral daisy bracelet. I absolutely love how this came out with the turquoise colour and the gold. And you can see I've added a lobster clasp and an extension chain to it as well and I'll show you how to do that. Let me show you what I used to make this bracelet and of course you can use any colours you like. I love the colour gold so I got some gold beads. Then I used some lovely white beads. And I wanted a colour that stands out so I used these turquoise beads. And then of course I used the extension chain and the lobster clasp. Let's begin, I've got my 140 centimetre thread and then I'm going to put a white and a gold bead through my needle. Pull that through to the end of the thread and then we're going to tie two knots here. So here's how I do it. So I create a loop and pull my needle through and I'm going to do that once more. This is to secure these in place. So then put your needle through the white bead like so and pull it through. Okay, so now we're going to form our first flower. So go ahead and get five more white beads on your needle. And then what I'm going to do is go through that white bead here and pull everything through. This will form a nice circular shape and then we're going to add the center of the bead. So I'm just placing it, just holding it in place here. And then what I'm going to do is go through that white bead here, pull my needle through, then go through the gold bead, keeping that in place as well, pull your needle through and then go through another white bead on the opposite end here. And that will make sure the gold little bead is secured in place in the center of that flower. And now what we're going to do is just go through a few more white beads. So I'm going through two here, pull my needle through and one more so we're in the right place to add our turquoise accent. Pull that through. Okay, so now we're going to add one more gold bead so put your needle through the white bead here and pull that through. We're going to go through the gold bead and it's time to add our turquoise. So go ahead and on your needle get a gold, turquoise and gold bead like I've got here. Go up through the gold bead again and pull your needle through. This adds three little gold beads on the side of the turquoise bead and I'm just securing that gold bead there. Now go through the turquoise bead because we need to add three more gold beads on the other side and then again through the turquoise bead. This will wrap the turquoise bead nicely. Now we need to go back to the center gold bead so we can add another flower. So put your needle through the two beads here and pull it through. Now on your needle go ahead and get another white bead. This is the starting of our next flower and pull that through. Pull your needle through again, securing it in place. Go ahead and on your needle, get the five white beads. So this is exactly how we did our first flower. Put those five beads through the white bead, making a nice circular shape. Go ahead, get your gold bead and hold that in place. When I'm happy with its placement, I'm going to go through the white bead and then I'm going to go through the gold bead and then through another white bead on the opposite end. Because we're on this side of the flower, we're just going to go through some more of the white beads so we can get to the opposite end. So I've gone through two white beads and I'm going to go through another one and pull your needle through. Now we're ready to add our gold turquoise gold. So on your needle, get a gold bead pull that through the white bead here and then pull through again. Now on your needle, go ahead and grab a gold turquoise gold. So I'm just gonna push that through the gold bead here. And now we're gonna go up the turquoise again. Well, up the gold and then the turquoise again. And now go ahead and on your needle, grab three gold beads and then through the bottom, pull that through as well so it wraps around nicely. Go through two of the gold beads so you're securing that in place and in a good starting position for your next flower. We're going to keep repeating this and we're just gonna add a flower 
the gold and turquoise accent and a flower again. I'm going to stop talking for a while so you can watch what I'm doing and I'll meet you towards the end of the bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and finish the bracelet off camera so I don't make the video too long and here is what it should look like. I've made it according to my measurements. The gold bead is where we're going to put our attachments through and at this point I like to go through my flowers and secure everything in place. I'm going to go through the two white beads and create two knots so I'm going to pull my needle through. That's my first knot in that loop. Pull that. I'm going to create a second knot. So go ahead and secure all your work in place. I'm going to go up to the turquoise bead and then I'll show you how to add the attachments. Right, we're ready for the attachments, so go ahead and get your lobster clasp and a jump ring. And then put that through one of the gold beads at the end. And then secure it in place. Sorry that it's a bit blurry here. And on the opposite end, go ahead and get a jump ring and add the extension chain. The bracelet is now done. If you like this tutorial and want more, please like this video, leave a comment, share what colors you're going to make your bracelet with, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can continue making these videos. And I'll see you on the next one.